What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to talk about one-handed shooting. Now here's the thing, um, when it comes down to this, I made a video a couple months. As we all know, every weekend I have range videos, unless I'm traveling or out of the area or have a family function, you know, so on. I'm a normal human being, I got other stuff to do too. But anyways, a couple months ago, three months ago, whatever it was, I made a range video where I got my Springfield Armory XD9 Subcompact, one of my first carry firearms, one of the greatest carry firearms in my opinion. Um, when it comes down to reliability. Yes, it's not the lightest, not the most ergonomic, but reliability, I've put 11,000 rounds through it. Haven't shot it in a long time, actually, but 11,000 rounds through it, love it. Anyways, it's super fun to go to the range and shoot one-handed. So I have the 16-round mag in, and I'm shooting one-handed, you know, from, you know, seven yards or so, 20 feet. And I got a bunch of comments down below saying, waste of ammo, waste of time. And then one other person said, you'll never use this. And that comment, you know, when you're on YouTube, sometimes you read this stuff and you start believing it, and you're like, I read a lot of comments. It's hard. I try and like, you know, go through and answer people who are asking reasonable things and being decent humans. But anyways, um, I'm like, maybe it is, you know, a waste of time. And then I started, I'm like, no, like this is something that you need to practice. One handed is huge. How many times have you, I don't know if you guys watch self-defense encounter videos, stuff like that, the news and so on. How many times have you seen one person, um, have their arm taken completely out of battle? Like they get hit right here and there's their arms limp. They get hit in the shoulder. They can't do anything with it. You need to train one one handed, but not just one handed. But you need to train off handed, one handed. We need to like. So here's the thing. My goal as someone who carries every day and wants to get better and just loves fire, I'm trying to be as well rounded as possible. And so in order to be well rounded anything, you have to be good at everything. Um, so anyways, like I said, I'm not the greatest right now at off hand shooting. Um, and I'm not the greatest with one-handed shooting, but I'm going to be putting the effort. I'm going to put the time into it because it's very important. People don't realize a lot of the time in self-defense, you're going to draw. You're not even going to have the time to get that other hand on here. You're going to be shooting from the hip. And I've even seen people shoot more like over here than down low. So they'll draw and go like over here. That's sort of what we were taught. That way your slide is directed. Sorry, it's, it's weird on the camera. Directed back towards your arm and not your body. So that's one-handed. You're never going to shoot two-handed from over here. So that's going to be your quickest two shots or, you know, however many you want to put there before getting space and so on. But anyways, so that's like your first go-to. If, if you need, if you, someone's right up on you, um, up close and personal, and you need to get those rounds off, basically that's, your first shots are going to be one-handed. It's that simple. You're not going to, that, that just doesn't make sense. So it's going to be one-handed, and then you're going to transition into that two-handed, extend once you have space and so on. But you're, there's a lot of self-defense encounter videos I've noticed that, when look at when they're shooting like some people when they're getting shot at like let's say you're watching something where it's like a drive-by or a shootout yes they're at distance shooting at each other then you're going to be fully extended you know range scenario indoor range scenario is what i like to call it standing there just shooting at a target you know and so on comfortable now the other um aspect of self-defense which is in a lot of videos is they don't have th that period of time or space to extend they're shooting the second they draw. Some people are shooting one-handed. It doesn't matter how they got those shots off, they did. I've seen people go sideways. I've seen people from over here. I've seen people fall back and shoot like they extend. But the point is, there's gonna be a, like, it's gonna be very hard for us to all train for every scenario. Um, but what we can do is get the best with our firearms as we can. We can get comfortable with them. And uh, anyways, a lot like so for instance i took it like this for the first however you know however long when i first got into shooting i thought self-defense i just have to be a good shot there's going to be nothing like a self-defense encounter with the craziness just everything going nuts trying to decide if i need to use my firearm or not and so on so the l last thing we need to think about is am i going to be able to shoot one-handed or off-handed anyways uh, appreciate it thanks for watching